Let's make some squash. Pork chops and applesauce is not what this video is about. Today we are making squash and with apples, squash, and apples, butternut squash. Thank you, Aunt Penny. This is from her garden up in Northern California. My cousin Carrie brought it down to me, and I'm so excited. Thanks, Carrie, for bringing this. We're going to make that with some apples and some squash. Did I mention apples and squash? We're going to make a mashed puree, probably put some nuts on top, which are optional. It'll be a great accompany to the pork sandwich. If you haven't seen the pork sandwich video, you can check that one out, too. What else to say about it? It's squash. I love squash. It's the season for squash. All right, you guys, let's make some squash. Okay, you guys, so we got our squash and we got two apples here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the apples and the squash and get it into the bowl. Apples, I think you guys have seen a million times. If not, I can you can check out the video for slicing apples. For squash, on the other hand, let's do, what the heck? No, let's do the apples first. Okay. Okay, and then for your squash, I like to cut the ends off. Very easy peasy. Oh wow, this is a really nice squash. And go with this, go with it there. Then I cut it in half here because usually there's no seeds below a certain point. Seeds are all be in this piece. Now you can peel it whenever you want, but I find that it is easiest to do it in small pieces in my hands. Then just take this part and cut it in half and take out the seeds. And when you are done, here's what you will have. Nice bowl of squash. I'm going to continue on with that. All right, you guys, we got our squash. We got our apples. We got it all in here together. We got the apples underneath. We got the squash. Now comes the time when you're going to need to cook this. And so the question is, oh, if you're wondering what that white is, it's ice because the fridge was a little cold. No big deal. I had these in there overnight waiting for the pork to cook. So. You can cook these in a couple different ways. You can put them in your crock pot and wait four hours or whatever. You can put them on the stove and do them quickly like that. Or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this in the microwave because squash cooks really well in the microwave. So let's pop this in the microwave and make it mushy. All right, you guys, here is our squash. And I think it's pretty cooked. It's been in the microwave for about eight minutes. I don't want to turn it to baby food, but I just wanted it to be clean and not clean to be cooked. So I'm gonna let it sit for just a couple minutes in the steam and the burr, and then we'll give it a little mushy mosh. A little mushy mosh.
right, let's see if we can get this sucker open here. Ooh, it's hot. Now, I'm telling you, I'm not a big microwave guy, but this is the perfect application for using the microwave. Cooking fresh vegetables. Look how, look how bright and vibrant and clean they look. Nice, hot. Okay, so here's what I got. I got a uh, pastry cutter and I'm just going to try to mush these up and I can tell these are not quite cooked enough. Alright, they're going back in the microwave. Back in the microwave. Alright you guys, I think we're done now. I put it in for a total of 16 minutes and oh yeah, nice and mushy. So we're going to mush this up. Wow, it is, it is super hot, super steamy. I'm gonna just do this mushy, mushy, mushy. You could do this in the mixer if you wanted to, if you had a food processor, which, come to think of it, I have a food processor. Why am I not using my food processor? It's all right, just doing it by hand, doing a little rustic, so some of you may not have a food processor, so you can do it rustic like me. All right, we got it pretty mashed here. Okay, in here I have a quarter cup of brown sugar. I have one teaspoon of salt. I have an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground ginger. I'll put that in there. Boop. I also have a half a stick of butter. Boop. And let's give this a little mix and mix. Ooh, I'm telling you, it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Mmm. Those spices and the brown sugar smell amazing. You guys are gonna like this. This is the perfect fall dish. Okay, guys, then I just have a quarter cup of uh, roasted pecans. I'm just gonna chop these up real quick. Just run your knife through them. It doesn't have to be too small, just not giant. Just so it looks nice. I'm put my squash in a nice serving dish here. Oh, you guys, it feels like fall. Make it nice. It's got a couple pieces left. It's nice. There you go. Now it's nice. Okay, then we've just got our pecans here. If you don't like pecans or if you're allergic to pecans, don't use pecans. Use almonds or whatever or nothing. It doesn't have to be anything. Just gonna sprinkle a couple on these. How good does that look? It is the moment you've been waiting for. Ooh, look at that squash liciousness. This smells so good. It smells like autumn in a box. Okay, so we have our apples in here. I'm trying to find my fork without dropping this. All right, apples in here. We've got our squash in here. And you know what? I'm just going to take a bite right out of here. Don't tell anybody. And, uh, mmm. Penny, Carrie, thank you for the squash because it is freaking delicious. A little bit of spices, just a little bit of sugar just to pump it up a little bit. I'm just eating it out of here. I don't care. Mmm. That is so good. A little bit of bite with the squash. The apples are still not, I wouldn't say they're crunchy, but they're, they've got some tooth to them still. <laughs> you guys make this. It is so good. This is one squash, by the way. And, um, yeah, I'm having another bite. Because this is one of my favorite things. Make this. You'll enjoy it. Bye. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this mash, this squash, this deliciousness for the side for the holiday season, for the fall season, for the whatever you can get your hands on it season. Uh, thanks for watching with me, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And like and subscribe to come on... Always the interruptions. You can like and subscribe, and that way you get notified. Third time's a charm. You can like and subscribe and come back for more. Hope you guys do. Um, I'm Robert Jones. This is Eudaimonius Mark II. Keep it up with the Joneses. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Subscribe to come on.